This is Zukradowski of We Are Changed at Oregon Times Square in New York City, and what you're watching right now is a Not 11 billboard in the middle of Times Square. I am actually joined by Richard Gage, founder of Architects and Engineers, the man behind the billboard, the man behind an organization that brought together thousands of professionals to question the official story of Not 11 and ask real important questions. Now, Richard, you're behind this billboard. You're waking up um, a lot of people here in the center of New York City. Can I just ask you, why Building 7, why this video? Why do you think it's important for people to see here? Building 7 is the smoking gun of 9-11. We've been deceived about 9-11. We've been deceived about Building 7. They told us it came down by fire. That's a lie. Every architect, every engineer, everybody else knows intuitively. They can look at Building 7, see it coming down suddenly, symmetrically, free fall acceleration as fast as a bowling ball falling off the building. So we, we, that can't happen. You got 80 structural columns in there on each floor. Each one had to have been cut or explosively destroyed all at once on each of eight given floors in order to bring this building down like that. So that doesn't happen uh, by fire. In fact, fire's never brought down a skyscraper ever in the 100 year history of skyscrapers. We've had 100 fires or so, much hotter, longer, and, and, uh, and uh, larger than the fires in Building 7. So we've got people's attention, Luke, when we talk to them about Building 7. Millions of New Yorkers will see this video. This is exciting. We, we raised thousands of dollars from our supporters to get this video up there. I mean, it's, it's just perfect. Um, They've got the opportunity to see it. They can respond to it. Very exciting. Uh, we've got NIST by the short hairs here. Yep. And uh, right now, the Not 11 Truth movement has, has went through many different phases. I think we're into a phase where a lot of people, including Ron Paul, who recently came out and said that there was foreknowledge of Not 11, even Jake Tapper, who recently, just uh, you know, six months ago, was talking trash about you and, and your organization and the you know, people who are fighting for the truth behind Not 11. He just came out recently and said that he supports a push for family members to get the classified documents unclassified that Barack Obama personally promised to family members that he would do, but he has still not done yet. We see CNN, we see Ron Paul, other people that I know personally are coming out saying, I am no longer afraid to talk truth about this but it's been 13 years it's is it 13 years too long is this are we in, in a phase where it's too late to get the truth behind not 11 I don't know how these things work in the macro scale I thought in six months after talking to a few architects they would all say oh my god you're right that's a controlled demolition and many of them did but not enough we have 2250 uh, right now, uh, architects and engineers demanding a real investigation, of course, signed on to our petition. But I thought we'd have two, that many in the first six months. So I'm obviously naive. I don't know why people don't automatically get that the Twin Towers were, were blown up. Once we show them uh, the, the evidence, they, they do tend to get it, but we can't get to enough architects, enough engineers, enough of the American people which is why we're going to this billboard. I do think it's looking up. Four years ago, we're out of the streets handing out literature. People are just, in general, not getting it, right? Uh, a, a lot of middle fingers and uh, growls and grunts. Today, half the people we talk to are, are saying, oh yeah, I heard something about that. And half of those people are saying, I'm with you guys, yeah. And so, uh, half of those people may have already signed our petition as another. We have 20,000 others. So I think it is looking up. I mean, we've got some, we, we were on C-SPAN uh, for 40 minutes after all, uh, giving this evidence to the American people, 3 million of them. Also, uh, Jesse Ventura show, Alex Jones show, Coast to Coast again last week, all three of those. Um, I, we're, we're, we're reaching into deeper into the, the culture of American, I, America. I, I can only hope that it's not another eight years that we have to do this with 8911 Truth. Um, I enjoy it. I love waking people up. I, we need to find a way to make it go faster, though, Luke. Yeah. 
We're definitely reaching more people than we ever have before, but will that translate into political action? It's really up to you. And one thing I have to say about Richard's uh, organization, Architects and Engineers, uh, it's, it's not based on conspiracy theories. It's not based on anybody making up a different belief. You really put the science behind it. You put the expertise behind it, and you really do an excellent job presenting the information in a non-conspiracy theory way, in a non-theory way, which has helped people wake up. Because, honestly, being out here, in 2003, 2004, at Ground Zero, we were spit at, we were beat up, we were harassed and assaulted just by questioning the official story. But now, with help from individuals like yourself, people could take it more seriously because there's a lot of more professionalism behind everything that you do. Now, uh, not only are you doing this amazing billboard, but you're also doing other uh, events here in New York City. Uh, can you tell us about other things that you have going on other than uh, just this billboard? You bet. We started today, September 11th, at Ground Zero handing out flyers, the alternative guide to the museum, what you will not see in the museum. Uh, very Go ahead. We'll continue going on. Go ahead. Very exciting uh, because uh, oh, the museum shows the official narrative and, and none of the evidence that is the, the obviously uh, evidence for explosive controlled demolition. So we include that in the alternative guide, and uh, we're, uh, we, we followed that up with a press conference at Ground Zero in front of the Liberty Tower at 11 o'clock, giving all this evidence to the American people. We invited them to then come to the premiere of The Anatomy of a Great Deception, David Hooper's new exciting film that was inspired by the 9-11 Explosive Evidence Experts Speak Out DVD, which includes 43 technical experts in their fields, high-rise architects, structural engineers, metallurgists, chemists, physicists, uh, all of them. Uh, and David Hooper took those clips and he put his own narrative in it from his own personal struggle with the information about 9-11 uh, and because he was losing his wife, losing his friends. He didn't know how to talk to them about it. They weren't getting it, but once he made this film, they all got it. Now his wife is the film's biggest fan. And uh, we had the world premiere in Detroit uh, uh, last week. This week we're right here in New York with it. And tomorrow we have a, uh, we'll be right here under the billboard handing out flyers, Rethink911.org. The evidence might surprise you. And Saturday we have our own conference, three hours long. We'll have Mark Crispin Miller here, Wayne Matson. We'll have William Pepper talking about the legal challenges, family members and survivors all at Theater 80, 2 p.m. Uh, don't miss it. <laughs> yeah. And you can find out more on Rethink 911 and also Architects and Engineers. Uh, the websites and links will be in the description below. I can't thank Richard for all the hard work that he has been doing, continuing the good fight for this movement. Uh, a lot of family members, a lot of rescue workers have been utterly shocked, but a lot of them stand with the message of asking questions and demanding answers. And there's no wrong suit in doing that because in the world that we're living in, that is the only thing we have when it's filled with so many lies, so many deceptions, so many wars, so many horrible things. And it's up to people like yourself to take action. What Richard is doing, what we're doing, is we're waking you up. So share this message with as many people as you can. The movement, the truth cannot die as long as we keep speaking it. Thank you again so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you, Luke. No problem. Thank you. God.